let's examine steam-based power generation here. What happens here in, is feed water, which is high-pressure water from a feed water pump, which pumps from atmospheric pressure to high pressure, goes into the boiler. This is the water that is fed, and fuel and air are fed into the boiler where they're burnt and the heat is transferred Q heat is transferred from this fuel and air to the boiler and it boils the water and turns it into steam the steam high pressure high temperature steam goes to the turbine and turns the turbine shaft which is connected to a generator and um, the steam once it gives up the energy this low pressure steam that comes out from the turbine is condensed in a condenser because this is still steam and it occupies a lot you know compared to water a lot of volume and uh, we could send this one back again to the boiler this high low pressure steam but the vol the pump power is based on the volume that we pump back so this volume being very high still is condensed into water or steam and uh, heat is actually rejected here or transferred to cooling water and the clean water goes back to the feed water pump it takes less energy to pump the water compared to the low pressure steam that is the reason we even, even though we dump or we uh, we reject this heat still the cycle has viability so that's how the steam based power generation occurs and gas based power generation is slightly different this is again details showing how it is done basically you know in a boiler you put coal or oil or gas or uh, or actually for that matter uh, even nuclear power is more or less the same only thing is the fuel is nuclear fuel but once the water turns into steam rest of it is the same in nuclear power plant so coal oil gas uh, or biomass any fuel that burns is exactly the same way you turn first the chemical energy into, into thermal energy and thermal energy into mechanical energy in a turbine and this turbine turns uh, the armature in a, in a generator and which generates the electricity and the low pressure steam that is going from here from the turbine actually is condensed in a condenser and the condensing water which goes in uh, it becomes warm and it comes out and goes to a very uh, high uh, heights and then it is uh, sprayed in a cooling tower and and the energy is uh, transferred to air and the water comes down and it is recycled so those are the details here and gas turbine is slightly different gas turbine where air is compressed as you can see here air goes into a compressor and it is compressed to high pressures during this compression the temperature increases and um, we also inject fuel into this combustor where the fuel burns and it gets to a high temperature and that hot gas actually turns the turbine here and when it turns the turbine um, it generates power some of it is used for the compression of this air and rest of it goes to the power turbine which is basically uh, you get the power output here and the hot gas that comes out is rejected here this is the type of turbine that is uh, used in both the aircrafts as well as land-based power generation and this is based on Brayton cycle uh, and the exhaust gas gets out and um, it can burn uh, here the fuel can be liquid fuel like in aircrafts or we can use natural gas uh, as gaseous fuel on land-based um, or synthetic gas or any fuel gas that is available 
and uh, although we are showing these units as separate units compressor combustor turbine typically they're all in one assembly here as you can see in this picture um, so the air air enters here and it gets compressed and after compression you can see there are various stages of compression here and um, uh, you the, in, into the combustor you inject the fuel and then again uh, the power shaft and the turbine part of it expands the gas and then you get the power from here from the other side so this is uh, gas turbine based power generation and an improvement uh, over this cycle the previous cycle the steam cycle was based on Rankine cycle this is based on Brayton cycle but we can also combine both actually so you can see the gas turbine part is over here and the gas turbine uh, exhaust that is coming out still it being hot can be sent to a heat recovery steam generator which are HRSEG HRSG where water is introduced uh, water goes through actually and then turns into steam that steam can go and turn another steam turbine and produce some more power here this is a uh, combined cycle where you're combining gas cycle with steam cycle and here the gases after cooling down um, to the maximum possible level are sent out these gases are sent out so the efficiency of combined cycle based power generation is obviously much higher and it can go almost up to 50 percent compared to a gas turbine based power generation of 40 45 percent and um, and rank in generation is 35 36 37 percent so it is a, it is an improvement Thank you.